The Sunday School lesson for July 16th, 2023 is a warning for the heart-hearted. Luke chapter 16, verses 19 through 31. Welcome, viewers and subscribers, to my channel, The Backstory. I am Audrey. If you are new here, you will become aware of what happens before each Sunday school lesson. The agenda is as follows. I will share the backstory, read the lesson text, and offer a brief lesson summary. To the subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. To the viewers, please go ahead at this point and subscribe to this channel and share it with your Facebook friends, your Bible study group, your Sunday school class, and others. Thank you so much in advance for your support. I am offering a summary of the backstory. Luke chapter 16, verses 1 through 18. The two parables in this chapter must be understood in the light of verse 14, which reads, The Pharisees who loved money heard all this and were sneering at Jesus. Describing the Pharisees as those who loved money. That Jesus would make a dishonest business manager the protagonist of a parable might seem troubling. Jesus was not commending his character but his view of wealth. The steward did not desire wealth itself, but he used it so the powers that be would welcome him into their houses. Likewise, we are not called to covet money, but to invest it in our future heavenly home, the kingdom of God. The Pharisees treated what people value highly as the purpose of life. Therefore, they twisted the least stroke of the law to substantiate a worldly lifestyle style, where the issue be money, excuse me, whether the issue be money, marriage, or a variety of other issues. This is just a gentle reminder to ask you to subscribe. By subscribing, you will help me to walk in the path of my gift, one viewer and one subscriber at a time. Thank you so much for what you have done to make this channel what it is thus far and what it eventually can become with your support and with your help. Thank you so much in advance. Verse 19. There was a certain rich man, which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. Verses 20 and 21. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate, full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. Verse 22, And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. Verse 23, And in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Verse 24, And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. Verse 25, but Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. Verse 26, And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither 
can they pass to us that would come from thence? Verse 27, then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. Verse 28, for I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Verse 29, Abraham saith unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. Verse 30, And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. Verse 31, And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. A very brief summary. Some Bible students do not view this story as a parable, but as a real situation describing the nature of the afterlife. Whether or not that is true, the purpose of this story seems to be the same as the preceding parable to show the importance of living for the life to come rather than for the things of this world. The rich man, like the Pharisees, was covetous, valuing his possessions more than people. As a result, he was not received into God's presence, but separated from the kingdom by a great chasm. Jesus also used this occasion to foreshadow his resurrection. Thank you so much for watching. Join me soon for the next backstory. Stay safe and may God bless.